Hi, this is Donnie bringing our weekly Bible reading devotional here to tell you God's will for your life. Isn't that what we all want? God, what is your will for me? Well, as we read through these Thessalonian letters, Paul tells us. He says in 1 Thessalonians 5, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. There it is. But here's the thing about knowing this as God's will for us. The, the always aspect of these verses is so challenging. Paul says, rejoice always. Give thanks in all circumstances. Well, how do we do that in the hard, the painful, the difficult things we face? How do we rejoice? How do we give thanks in those things? What if praying without ceasing is the key to it? Here's, here's what I mean. God promises in Romans 8, 28 that he is working all things for the good of those who love him. That, that all things includes the hard, the difficult, the painful things. In all things we face, God is at work turning them for our good. God has a gift for us in everything we face, including the hard and the difficult and the painful. And this is where praying without ceasing comes in because to pray without ceasing is an invitation to look for God in everything. It's God's invitation to us to turn to him in everything, to trust that he is at work and to learn to see with eyes of faith that in whatever we're going through, God stands in the middle of it. God cares for us. He is at work. He is sovereign over everything and he is working for our good. That's what it means to pray without ceasing. It's learning by just to become our natural instinct to turn to God. God, you're at work here. What are you doing? Help me to see it. That's prayer without ceasing. And if we know that in everything God is working for our good, he has a gift for us, that's reason to rejoice always. That's reason to give thanks in all circumstances. So this week, let's make it our prayer that God would teach us to pray without ceasing, to look to him in everything and receive his good gifts and rejoice. I'll see you next time.